Oh my god, we just lost $170 million a couple. Pootie Pie just got robbed. Banks just cheated on Alyssa Violet. We're gonna have to stop all animated creators, all cartoon creators, all gaming creators. You will get fined $42,000 today. Yesterday's much anticipated event, and there was, my kids were watching this. They wanted to see what was gonna happen. We're talking about 2,000 people who flooded into Nevada after a call on Facebook to storm Area 51. About 200 of them have made it to the main gate, but that obviously a much smaller number than the nearly 2 million who had pledged to raid the U.S. Air Facility. Uh, Air Force Billions evacuating. At this hour, it is turning just about 100 miles off the coast of Florida, a major Category 4 hurricane, winds of 145 miles an hour. Dorian already landing a devastating blow in the Bahamas, hammering the islands relentlessly for more than 24 hours. As a Category 5 hurricane there, it was merciless. The image is now coming in tonight of the horrific destruction in its wake after the wind, of course, the floodwater surging in. Tens of thousands of homes damaged or destroyed tonight. At least five people have died. That toll growing. So tonight, where does this monster hurricane go next? And the models that show it coming shootings in the U.S. than days this year. That's according to data from the Gun Violence Archive, a nonprofit organization which tracks mass shootings in the U.S. The organization says there have been 255 mass shootings in the U.S. this year. It defines a mass shooting as an incident where at least four people were shot, excluding the shooter. The data show more than 33,000 total shooting incidents in 2019, resulting in nearly 9,000 gun deaths as of Monday afternoon. The number of people in the El Paso massacre makes it one of the 10 deadliest shootings in modern American history and the deadliest of 2019. James Burnett joins me now from Charlottesville, Virginia. Bahamas, but is leaving so much destruction behind. And this morning, the death toll is climbing as crews search for survivors. Marcus Moore was right in the center of the storm as it hit Marsh Harbor. He's now made his way to Nassau. Good morning, Marcus. After riding out the 180 mile per hour winds and massive rains in a hotel room and then a utility closet. This is absolutely a mind blowing event that is unfolding right now. Ben 150 people become homeless every day in Los Angeles County. They consider us criminals. That's the way it is. We do need help. We need a lot of help out here. They don't want us to be seen. We are people too. Despite record spending statewide to address the crisis, it's only getting worse, and people are frustrated. It's crazy. We have heroin overdoses all over the streets here. And my wife is actually uh, scared to go out and walk on the street. Almost it's not, it's not a crime. We're not, we're not blaming the victims here, but the fact is, though, the city has to get control of the situation. No gas city! No gas city! Compounding the crisis, there is often stiff resistance to some solutions. Hold on, hold on. You need to stop pushing it down our throat. Oh my God, we're driving past homeless people and we're not seeing them. That is the end of our humanity. This is a crisis. We are in almost like a war. So how did we get here? and deadliest crackdown against protesters in Iran in four decades. More than 200 people, rights groups say, shot dead by security services over the last two weeks. And today, the Iranian government finally acknowledged it's using deadly force. State TV saying Iran had no other choice, describing the protesters who rioted in 100 cities after Iran abruptly increased gas prices by 50% last month as violent fire-setting hooligans confronted for the sake of public order. Young men had attacked banks, government offices, and mosques. President
even demonstrators. They've melted away, leaving a landscape of destruction. We found him staring in disbelief at the trashed metro station where someone had gone the extra mile to prevent access. Absolutely. So, here at the Jared 333 channel, we hope that you enjoyed the negative YouTube Rewind for 2019. Like, follow, and share the video.